The picture is leaking. What? No, yeah. Really? Yeah. I've been the painting. I oh found them under your bed. Oh my god. Do you know what? Is she going to be able to go back into Narnia through the painting? Ooh, buddy. How you doing, everybody? How you doing today? Hope you're doing friggin' awesome. Okay, what are we doing today? We're doing Chronicles of Narnia 3. The Voyage of the Don Treader, whatever that means, I have no idea. But either way, stoked to check it out. It's the final film in the series. I know it's not the final part of the, because there was a book series that kept going, but the films didn't do very well, whatever. A lot of people said this particular movie, number three, is total crap. But the majority of you want me to keep doing it and to do it and check it out, and I might as well, because why not? The first two were freaking awesome. So let's check this out. I tend to find a joy in everything, so I'm sure I'm going to like a lot of this, so... That's freaking awesome. Now, as always, very quick before we dive into it, the raw version is available on my Patreon page. That's the raw cut, so you can sync up with your own Netflix, your own Blu-ray, your own copy, watch along style, sync up to two, and then you can watch the full two hour long reaction if that's something you're interested in. It's available on my Patreon page. It also helps support the channel, keep me going, keep the videos flowing. Otherwise, if you're new to YouTube, just be sure to mash the subscribe button and the bell notification. We've got a lot more coming. Are you sure you're 18? Why, do I look older? Alberta Scrub. Edmund. No, she uses his name. Good luck next time, I swear. <laughs> he just wants to fight for his country? Man, Edmund has been wanting to see action nonstop, eh? He's like the real fighter of the group. I'm a king. <laughs> I've fought wars and I'm a king. I've led armies. Not in this world. If anyone so deserves a name. <laughs> oh, she's getting interested in boys now, is she? Is that why she did that? Or was she putting her hair behind her ears? Okay. If only one could treat relatives like one treats insects, I could simply put them in a jar. Wow. Pin them to my wall. I'm home. Uh-oh. Investigate legal ramifications of impaling relatives. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That kid's a little crazy. I was invited to the British Consul's tea party this week by a naval officer. I think he fancies me. Do you think I look anything like Susan? She's comparing herself to Susan now? Have you seen this ship before? Yes. It's very Narnian looking, isn't it? Oh my nerves. Believing in Narnian nursery rhymes. Please let me hit him. No! <laughs> when you have a knock. It's my house. Looks like the water's actually moving. What rubbish, see? That's what happens when you read all those fanciful novels and fairy tales of yours. People who read fairy tales are always the sort that become a hideous burden to people like me. Holy I read books crap. of real information. The picture is leaking. What? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I've been the painting. Oh, I found them under your bed. Oh my god. Do you know what? Is she going to be able to go back into Narnia through the painting? Ooh, buddy. Stop it or I'll tell mother. Mother! Run away, kid. Run away. We don't need you in this movie. Woo. He's irritating. Oh, no, buddy. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Holy crap. Got some water damage on the go now. <laughs> Holy crap. No, the kid came with him. The annoying kid is now in Narnia. Woo! Look out. Cassian. Lucy. Epic, it's Cassian. So what? What's the chances that Caspian is there to rescue him? What? I'm gonna go back to England. I'm going back to England. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything happens for a reason, I guess. Wow, nice ship. I like the big dragon head on the front. Didn't you call for us? No. Hang on, man! Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. Your Majesty. They changed the animation, didn't they? I don't know what kind of prank this is, but I want to wake up right now! Perhaps we could throw him back. Oh my god, is this going to be a full movie of listening to this kid? This annoying kid go on rants? You're on the Dawn Treader, the Holy finest shit. ship in Narnia's Navy. <laughs> is it something I say? Pretty good animation. I kind of like both. I like the CG when it's done right, but I also like your traditional, like, you know, just movie makeup, wearing a costume kind of thing. High King and Queen of Narnia. Ooh. Wow, they're glad to be back. Peter and Susan are, are jealous, aren't they? Oh, man. But they're too old. It's like every childlike tale, they grow up and they move on. That's why you gotta embrace your childhood. Enjoy it while it lasts. Aslan, oh, may I? Of course, they're yours. 
Peter's sword. Hold it if you wish. <laughs> no, no, it's yours. Peter gave it to you. There's peace across all of Narnia. Wow, everything is too peaceful. And have you found yourself a queen in oh, those three years? Oh my god, she did the hair thing. Not one to compare with your sister. Hang on, so if there are no... <laughs> now words... she's hitting on him. <laughs> Seven lords of Talmar. They fled to the Lone Islands. Well, what's east of the Lone Islands? Tales of sea serpents and worse. Sea serpents? All right, Captain. Oh, like you can't believe that there's sea serpents in a world with everything that goes on here. All these mythological creatures. I'm pretty sure Narnia has everything you can imagine. Find all that you seek. <laughs> there is the utter east. I've been told the furthest east one can sail is to the end of the world. Aslan's country. I can only hope I will one day earn the right to see it. So is that going to be a bit of foreshadowing for what's going to happen? Are they going to try to sail east into uncharted waters and try to find... Where Aslan's from? Hmm? Ooh, what are these? Crystal clear, transparent, merfolk? See, how can you have that and then not believe in sea serpents? <laughs> Working on his sword skills now. He's a bit rusty. I think Edmund's the better sword fighter, isn't he? I look like a draw, was it? If we keep sailing to the end of the world, we'll just tip off the edge. <laughs> Flat earthers would believe that. Find your sea legs. Never lost them. Simply Whoa. dealing with the shock of things. Have you all arrested for kidnapping? Oh, you gotta have your intolerable character. Just to, you know, rub people the wrong way. I'm not gonna get triggered by that kid. Gotta stay happy. The Lone Islands. No, oh, they made the Lone Islands, okay. Not a Narnian flag in sight. Seems suspicious. Yeah, something's not right. There's like no activity in that city at all. It's like a totally abandoned city. Wow, the bell still goes off. Somebody else have rang it though. Right, somebody's in the bell tower. Do you want to come here and guard? Good idea, cousin. Very, um, uh, logical. <laughs> He's all about being intelligent, scientific, and logical. Complete opposite of the other kids. I've got it, I've got it. Whoa, that's a lot of bells. Statue of a king holding his own head in his hands. What is up with that? Slave traders. Oh, he just shoots them. My God, what if they were friendly? <laughs> Unless you want to hear this one squeal My like nerves. a girl again. You know what? Slave traders now. So they set a trap for anyone who comes here. Send those two to the dungeons. Listen to me, you insolent fool! Whoa. I am your king! How much money can he make for uh, selling a king? Three kings, technically. Oh, like high kings and medium kings and all the different... Oh, buddy, I don't even think he cares if they're kings. You all right? It's like he ignored them. Yeah. How long has he been there for? Keeping him a prisoner, not selling him, how come? So people still live there in their houses, except they're obviously under some kind of harsh rule here. I'll find you. What are they doing? Putting everybody in boats? Shipping them off? Evil spirits? Why? It's a sacrifice. We lords made a pact to find the source of the mist to destroy it, but none came back. Ooh, so there's a creepy mist roaming around in the ocean, consuming sailors and ships. Okay. I'll take them all off your hands. Ooh. Banania! 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 Okay, ambush. Well, here comes the rescue party. All right, they got the mouse. Look out. They'll be fine. All right, get him, Lucy boy. Get him. Wow. Okay. The men were just tossing everybody around like rag dolls. Don't run away with the keys. Unshackle yourself and help everybody else. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Uh oh. Sneaking up on the kid. Come on now. Come on. 
Well, you I rescued all the sailor. people. They're all free. Been on That's the seas my whole life. What do you mean, then? Of course. Be my, okay. That'd be good. All right. Wow, they're all freed. Everybody's happy for now. This was given to me by your father. I hid it safely in a cave. There are seven such swords. Ooh. Gifts from Aslan to protect. Thank you, my lord. And we shall find your lost citizens. All right. They got a mission. They got an objective now. Oh, giving them that sword. Very nice. What did they say? Given or blessed by Aslan himself? Okay. Just got to clean it up a little bit there, Edmund, and it'll be fine. Who knows what magical properties it got? So far, every person I've met in this strange place suffers from the most florid delusions. It's going to be magnificent. Do they He's come in a smaller there. size? <laughs> He's even more deluded than my cousin. Why does he think they're delusional if he can see the Minotaur and the talking rat? He's the one that's illusional. He's too scientific. Has no imagination. Uh, why are you talking to that bird? <laughs> talking to bird! <laughs> He's mad as a loon, that one. Yeah. There was a time, right, when every animal spoke. But then some of them drifted back into being beasts. Is that right? I don't know. I think that's what he said in the last movie. But you can let me know. Are you aware? Oh, stealing stealing from the kitchen. Is a offense at sea. Just hand over the orange and we'll let the matter pass. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, quite enough of you. Unhand the tale. The Ooh. great Aslan himself gave me this tale. <laughs> then I will have the tale. But please, please, I, I'm a pacifist. Oh, buddy, you don't know what you're messing with, kid. Oh, he's gonna steal the orange. Oh, what a oh, bunch of Run around deck with a sword now. And that a good measure. <laughs> Teach him a lesson now. Spirit, we have ourselves a duel. <laughs> you, you're out of your league, kid. Keep your blade up. Up, up. That's it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to teach him how to fight better. <laughs> oh, no. No. Well, you tricked him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look. A stowaway? The young girl stowed away to be with her dad? Looks like we have an extra crew member. It's a friendly ship? I'm so used to coming from the parts of the Caribbean movies where it's like people are just like pirates, ill tempered pirates. Throw her overboard or whatever. You know? <laughs> this one is like such a peaceful boat. It's so rare to see. I'll make a swordsman of you yet. Ooh, gonna try and train him. All right, he might come around, he might mature up, grow up, and drop the weird attitude he has. I mean, like, I didn't like Edmund in the first movie. Now Edmund's, like, one of the best now. He's friggin' badass, but, you know, who knows? People can change. Could be a trap. Or it could hold some answers. We'll spend the night on shore. Scour the island in the morning. Oh, your majesty. So why spend the night on the shore? Spend it on the boat where it's safe. Er, safe her. Instead of on the land where they can get you, Driz. Eat bad people on there. Oh my god, somebody's invisible. This one reads. Let's take her. Oh my god, no! They're stealing Lucy. What kind of invisible giant creatures are there? What are you? We are terrifying invisible beasts. If you'll do what we ask. She will. Very clear. Well put. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be much used to you dead now, would I? All right. Then we'll just kill your friends. Oh, come on now. Good idea. You will enter the house of the oppressor. Oh, my God. Why are so many things invisible here? What is happening? Upstairs, you'll find the Book of Incantations. They sound a little creepy, though. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. <laughs> Beware the oppressor. He's Ooh. very oppressive. So she got to sneak upstairs, read the incantation to make the unseen scene while avoiding the oppressor. Okay. In some kind of magical door she just went into. Just another day in Narnia, everybody. Where's Lucy? Lucy? Lucy! Everybody up! Some weird shaped rocks. Look at them. They're perfectly round. Oh, they left that kid behind. <laughs> Good. Book of Incantations. Okay. The Big Book of Incantations. 
There you go. The spell that... What? Something toothpaste? Don't make it snow. But all around that to be snow. You made it snow. Pretty cool. As long as you don't make it so cold that you freeze. But you know. That's not the spell you're supposed to cast. And now you're going to alert the observer, was it? Ooh, that looks like the mist that was on the ocean. To make you she. The beauty you've always wanted to be. What? Casting a beauty spell? No. Susan, what's going? You were fine the way you were, my dear. Don't take somebody else's face. For Frank's sakes. Okay, no, she's still herself in the reflection. No! Wait. No. No, no, no. You're ripping out. Ooh, you're not supposed to rip from the book. Lucy. She can't do that. Lucy. Oh, that's the voice of Aslan. Look at her stealing now what she resorted to. She wants beauty that bad, hey? Ooh. Stop. It's invisible giants, I think. Now all is visible. Uh-oh. What sort of creatures are you? Big ones. Claw you to death. Yeah. I'll run my tuft right through you. <laughs> Why are their feet so big? Oh my. oh my nerves, look at these things with one giant foot. Oh, the mansion is now becoming visible too. Your majesty. This is Koryakin. It's his island. You have wronged us, magician. I have not wronged you. I made you invisible for your own protection. Because... What was that? Lint. <laughs> That is one of the weirdest fantasy races I've ever seen in my life. What are they called? One giant foot. They just spring around everywhere. <laughs> From the evil. I mean what lies behind the mist. Ooh, what lies behind the mist, everybody? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a scene from the first movie. Dark Island. Ooh, Dark Island. Place okay. where evil lurks. I bet, with a name like that. It can make your darkest dreams come true. Ooh. You must break its spell. That sword you carry. There are six others. To break the spell, you must follow the blue star. Ooh. There the seven swords must be laid at Aslan's table. You are all about to be tested. To defeat the darkness out there, you must defeat the darkness inside yourself. Ooh, that's a good line. Gonna be a whole lot of that, is there? A whole lot of, like, inner turmoil? Battles within yourself? In order to succeed with the battles on the exterior? Holy crap, okay. We're back in this tub and lost in a tempest. Brilliant. That guy, will he ever come around? I don't know. I think he will a little bit by the end of the movie, hopefully. But you never know with him. He's kind of headstrong. The only consolation is, everyone is finally as miserable as I am. Except for that show-off talking rat. Oh my god. What are you doing, rat? You're gonna lose your grip and... Likes to live dangerously, I guess. The sea can play nasty tricks on a crew's mind. Very nasty. Oh, they're gonna have sea madness, everybody. They're gonna suffer from sea madness and delusions. My grandfather was a sailor and he claimed to have seen mermaids out at sea just saying just throwing that out there transform my reflection cast into perfection just don't do it Lashes. let me guess it's still going to be her but in the reflection the uh, the outside world is just going to see her as susan right is that the plan holy crap changes her outfit too you really want to spend the rest of your life looking just like your sister? Ooh, we're back in this day. Okay. Miss Pevensey, you beautiful sister. What? As always. Peter. What? All her children in one picture. Uh oh. Where am I? Where's Lucy? Lucy. Who's Lucy? Uh oh. You disappeared. You made yourself. You wrote yourself out of history. 
Okay, that's the downside of the spell. You don't want to be a dead. Oh, crap. Lucy, what have you done, child? I didn't mean to choose all of that. I just mm. wanted to be beautiful like Susan. You mm. wished yourself away, and with it much more. Wow, that spell is pretty powerful. It rewrites history. Aslan! But it was just a dream? Maybe it didn't happen? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now dispose of it properly. So nobody else on the boat finds it and uses it. There you go. Ooh, the creepy gas mist fog thing is creeping on board the ship. It's gonna consume everybody. Oh my god, wake up. Well, Edmund's awake at least. <gasps> what? I was gonna say, if that mist has anything to do with the White Queen, we're in trouble. It's sea madness, everybody. Looks like the storm is gone, at least. It looks like they made it to an island before they ran out of food. Doesn't look like there'd be much life on that island, but you never know. Some kind of crater volcanic island. What do you think could be down there? Let's find out. Oh, we're gonna go down. Curiosity, you gotta check it out. You just got to. What is that? Is that a body or a statue? They look like they're frozen, like they're petrified. Nobody who makes a statue in that pose. Holy crap. Whatever touches the water turns into gold. I can see why everybody would want that. He must have fallen in. He fell in. And his sword. <gasps> we need it. That's the sword. You need it. Oh, but the mist is in there. Ah, the magic of swords resisted. Okay, so we can turn things into gold. But does gold actually have much value in Narnia? Could be the most powerful person in the world. Oh, he's going crazy. Can't take anything out of Narnia, Edmund. Says who? I do. Oh, snap. Here we go. You've been waiting for this, haven't you? To challenge me, you doubt my leadership. You're a Ooh. child. And you're a spineless oh sap. Oh my god, it's getting real now. If you think you're so brave, prove it! Oh ah! crap, don't fall in. Stop it! Put them in their place, Lucy, come on. This place has tempted you. Yes, it's driving it's you mad. It's bewitching you. Right? Battle within, everybody? Yep, they're both going nuts. What's he doing just wandering by himself? Holy crap. What are you gonna do with all that now? Where are you gonna hide that to? Won't be needing that then, will you? Oh no. What beast did you trigger by stealing the treasure? Usually it's dragons that have a horde. Mm hmm? I hope we get to see a dragon. That would be friggin' awesome. Oh no, it's the friggin' fog. Why does the fog have whispers? It's like, oh. It's like people whispering weird ghost sounds. I'll go find them. I'll come with you. Oh, the two of them being left alone now. Maybe they can talk out their issues. Or maybe it was just the creepy island talking, you know? That was a weird roar, though. It almost sounded like he disturbed some kind of creature, like a dragon or something. Ooh, there's a shoe. Why is there steam? Oh, that's sand. I thought steam coming off of it. I was like, whoo, did you get disintegrated? Whoo! No. No, that's the skeleton that was already there. Was that him? He's just a boy. That was his body? Oh my god, that's the other body there. So he did die. I mean, I didn't like the kid. But didn't really want to see him get disintegrated either. They didn't even say what. Was it dragon fire? Did he get burned alive? By some kind of volcanic dragon? Yup. Is it the volcano? That's no volcano. That's much All worse. Hands on deck! They can't fight a dragon. Ooh, Here we go. Is this a dragon? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Is that a gold dragon? Gold dragons are usually good. Like as in good nature, good alignment. Still a dragon though. Oh crap. Get him. Get him, mouse, get him. What's that dragon trying to do? Woo! <laughs> Stabbed him in the finger. 
I'm confused. What was that dragon trying to do? It was just hanging off the mast. Could have breathed fire on him or something. Oh. Jeez. What? That dragon has a wrist thing on. Oh my god. Do you notice that? It's probably the kid. The annoying kid. Transformed into a dragon. That's why he wasn't trying to hurt him. Makes sense. Ah, there you go. Look at this. You've got to be joking. Ooh. Nope. He turned into a dragon. He can't speak anymore, though? Yes! Don't have to hear him speak? Okay, I'm all on board with this. Best plot twist ever. What's he doing with his hand? Oh, maybe if you take the first thing. Is there any way to change him back? Not that I know of. Aunt Alberta will not be pleased. <laughs> Sorry about that. Aunt Bertha. So he turned into a dragon while we were playing. So that happened. He's smiling. I wonder, does he like being a dragon? I doubt it. When I was a boy, I used to imagine sailing to the end of the world, finding my father there. It's kind of the same kind of thing in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, right? You sail to the end of the world where they had to drop off and then they could see all the, you know, that's where all the dead people were being ferried out. Hmm. Is that like an old tale among sailors or something? I don't know. Don't worry, I'll see her again. We just have to have faith about these things. Aslan will help us. But Aslan can stop her from being taken. That's the common debate amongst people. Where Aslan is supposed to represent God and everything, you know, it's just like... He's like, God will help us find her. And well, it's like, but God let her be taken in the first place. There's that famous debate, you know what I mean, between religious and non-religious people. I'm just saying, that's kind of the symbolism there. I'll stay up with you if you wish. I'll wager you didn't even believe in dragons this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, they're starting to bond. Be a friendship is building there. You know, it started on a rough foot with uh, him stealing an orange. Ooh, the blue star. Hey, stop. Are you supposed to follow the blue star? Everybody! Holy crap, so he's just a dragon now. All right, I'm okay with that. Uh, that's a good plot to us all get behind. Oh, more merfolk. Oh, they're saying, no, don't go. Why? Why is she saying to not go there? The wind has left. Oh, crap. What? Oh. He's pulling the boat. Nice, nice. That's good of him. He's making himself useful now. Because they have no wind at all, eh? Okay, well, they found another island. This one's teeming with life. Oh, this is kind of creepy. I can see, like, old druids living here. Dryads or whatever, you know. Ooh, a grand feast waiting for them. That's not suspicious at all. As hungry as they are. It's too good to be true, everybody. Oh, whoa. Creepy dead man in the corner. He's one of the seven, isn't he? Well, he made it here, he just didn't survive. Oh, no, goes. He's alive? What? Okay, that's a little weird. They're under a spell. It's the food! Huh? Oh, this is Azan's table. Okay, swords. there's the swords. Okay, they're finding the swords. Did any of the crew eat, though? That's what I'm wondering. So what's happening? They made it here, but something cast a spell on them. Maybe they had part, took part in the grand feast and it put them all asleep. You're missing Still one. missing one. What's going on? Big beam of energy coming down from the moon. They're a star. It's a star. I mean... Manifest. Ooh. You are most beautiful. Uh-oh. If it is a distraction for you, I, I can change form. No. no. Please. They're in love. Look at eye roll from Lucy. The food is for you. <laughs> what happened to them? They were threatening violence upon each other. Violence is forbidden at the table of Aslan. Uh, okay. So they were sent to sleep. So it is safe to eat. Crew is going to be happy about that. It's pretty cool. So Aslan's Island, the star comes down. Everything seems good. She doesn't come across as being creepy or anything. So it's good. Do you know where the seventh is? Oh. In there. 
They have to travel to the Dark Island to find the Seventh Sword. I hope we meet again. Oh my god, you're in love. With a star being so easily in love, hey? Look at that. How are you going to be in a relationship with somebody like that? Well, I don't know. Maybe you can make it work. Who am I to question love, right? All right, here to go. Well, they got a dragon now. Even though a dragon don't really know what it's doing. It can barely fly by looks of things, but... You know, they got a dragon. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Oh, wow. Look at that, Lucy. Look at that. People looking up to you now. You should be just like you. I want you to know I think of you as my brother, Ed. Oh. Me too. They're all friendly now. When they get in, we'll see if that's their true feelings. Peter would want you to have it. Would he? He probably would. Yeah, I feel he would. Yep, I agree, I agree. All right, so Edmund got the sword. Aslan's sword. So now is not the time to fall to fierce temptations. Be strong. Never give in. Think of the lost souls we're here to save. Gotta rally the troops. They're all about to go into a place that are gonna be tempted. Probably could drive them into a bit of madness. For friggin' Narnia, everybody. Is I on, what's gonna go on in here? I'm excited to see what kind of temptations they're gonna have. Oh my God, the green mist is coming. Just consumes everybody. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, uh-oh. His wife is one of those spirits now. They have to kind of release him, free the dead somehow. Well, they might not be dead. They might just be transformed into this mist of whatever this is. They might not actually be dead. I don't know. You are a great disappointment to me. Oh, no. You call yourself my son. Oh, look who's coming back to haunt Edmund. Be my king. I'll let you rule. I'll always be alive. In your mind, silly boy. That's kind of true. You're never going to forget her. She had such an impact on you. Oh, look who it is. You will not leave. You will not defeat me! Oh, he's got the sword. Caspian, his sword. Woo. Oh, what are you doing, dragon? Okay, okay. You should not have come. There's no way out of here. Do not let it know your fears, or it will become them. Oh, as soon as it knows your fears, it becomes them. What did you just think of? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. You can't even think about it. That's like impossible. You can't say to somebody, don't think about bananas. You're immediately going to think about bananas. <laughs> Holy shit, was that a sea serpent? What is that? Is it a sea serpent or a kraken? Woo! Oh my god, what is it? Ooh, it is a sea serpent. No fear! No retreat! Yep, come on, you can take a sea serpent. You're a dragon and a mouse. Woo. Oh, that's going to do a number on the boat. Getting devoured. Oh my god, he's outmatched. Ooh, burn him up. You don't like the fire. No, no, what are you, what are you doing? My god, you threw the sword at your ally. He's a delusional old man though, can't blame him. Look at him. He's losing his mind. Trying to take matters in his own hands. Okay, well, now he's down. Aslan, please help us. Oh, she's praying to Aslan. Well, the sword is out there waiting for when you get out, but you gotta somehow survive this giant sea serpent from tearing your boat apart. They have no chance. What do they possibly do to fight that? Holy crap. It's gonna rip it in half. Look. She got the bow, but it's only a bow against something that size. Come on, not even gonna hurt it. But maybe she got a plan. I don't know. Smash him on the rocks. Steer at the boat. Oh, good idea though. It is wrapped around the ship. Maybe crush it up against the rocks. It's gonna hurt your ship a lot though. Woo. Woo. Stop, oh my God, Edmund! Oh my God, is Edmund in there? No, he made it out. Come on, get to those rocks. Here we go. We're coming in. Shoot it in the mouth or the eye. Ooh, right in the eyeball. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that thing is like leaking that green kind of spiritiness. What are you doing? Woo, 
What's he doing? Healing him? Or is he converting him back into the boy? Oh, back into the boy. Hoping they don't have a sword impaled to his back. That would have been bad if they transformed him and he still had a big sword sticking out of his back. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? That is nasty. What the frig? Okay, you got one spike out of a million. Oh, and he turns back into it. Oh. So that creature is the souls. And as it takes damage, it releases the souls. All right, you got the sword now, buddy. You're responsible for it. Gonna need more muscle than that to pull that thing down. Holy crap. Considering it's like twice the size of the boat. Oh, he's going to complete it. He's got the seventh sword. He can complete it. Oh, spirits are coming. What? What? He was this close. I can make you that. I can make you my king. Don't listen. Don't give in. You're getting distracted. You know, this is a place of pure evil. Good on you, buddy. You did it. He did it. What does it do? Ooh, it empowered the sword. Ooh, the Serpent Slayer Sword, everybody. Empowered by the Seven Swords of Aslan. Friggin' epic. Oh, there we go. Look at all the green coming out of it. All those swords together. Oh, look. When everything is put right, everything is put right because they're back. Narnians! We got a load of Narnians coming in. Okay, they're rescued. They're not going to run out of food. Everything's friggin' working out. Okay. Helene! Helene! Woo. Whoa. Okay. Just diving right in. Fearless. Oh well, my god. Family reunited, everybody. Happy ending. I'm a boy again! <laughs> I'm a boy! Eustace! <laughs> I see Look! Aslan's country. Close to Aslan's country. I think it was about a dragon than I was a boy, really. Oh, wow, look at him. He's I'm so sorry up. for being such a sop. And that's why he was on the journey, because he had to go full circle and realize that the person he was was just a bitter, cranky little boy, but now he's somebody much better. Somebody people can relate to. He'll appreciate his life more. Right? That's what Narnia does to you. You go to Narnia, you, you learn some life lessons, and you grow up. Very well indeed. Yep. You have come far. And now your journey is at its end. It's my father in your country. You can only find that out for yourself, my son. There is no return. Wow, he, wa he wants to know more about his father. Even if he can't go back to normal life. Or is he? Maybe he's not. Seven second thoughts? I can't imagine my father would be very proud that I gave up what he died for. Right. I spent too long wanting what was taken from me and not what was given. Yes. Embrace the life you have. I promise to be a better king. You already are. Look at him, boy. Aslan sets them all up so they can grow, have personal growth. I've had many great adventures in this world. I would lay down my sword for the joy of seeing your country. My country was made for noble hearts such as yours. It's like heaven. He's ready to go to heaven. He's going. He's going to the other side, everybody. Lucy gets very attached to all the characters in this. Just this duel. <laughs> oh, there we go. One day it's going to be sad because they were just starting to make a friendship. It has been my honor to fight beside such a brave warrior. Wow, praise in the man. Here he goes, everybody. He's going. Get in there, boy. You deserved it. You fought long and hard enough. He's going. This is our last time here, isn't it? Yes. <gasps> you have grown up. In your world, I have another name. You must learn to know me by it. Yep, okay. This is this. I noticed that they said there was supposed to be a fourth and a fifth, but this seems like an ending to me. Oh my god, they're growing up. That's it. They gotta say goodbye to Narnia. Last time they're gonna see Aslan. 
as a lion, but he said, you know, he could be found by other names. I'm assuming they mean like Christianity, like God, Jesus, that kind of thing, you know? Narnia may yet have need of you. Well, that kid might be coming back. It's gotta be hard to walk away from Narnia knowing you'll never get to go back there again. Kick your feet, buddy. Come on, there you go. Will all the wetness go away? <laughs> if not, they're gonna have some serious water damage. We spoke often of Narnia in the days that followed. I miss them with all my heart. Getting goosebumps, everybody. Getting freaking goosebumps because it's all over. The journey is complete and the boat sails away. All right, everybody, that series was friggin' awesome. Loved them all. Now, I gotta say, out of the three films, I did like one to best, then number two, then number three. Number three was still cool, though. I like how they clued it all up. They had the ending. They had to send off and said, you're grown up now. You gotta go back to your world for good. You're gone forever. You can't come back to Narnia, you know, but you can find me there under other names. That was really cool. And, but they still hinted like, okay, but maybe you can come back to little boy. I forget his name now. I keep forgetting his name. But like they're saying like, you know, there still can be more stories in Narnia because more kids can come back. So either way, love the whole series. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the series. We'll probably be getting on to another book series soon, which I think is Jurassic Park because that was a book, right? Anyways, I'm talking too much. Peace and love, everybody. Oh, hit the like button if you got any enjoyment in the series. Peace and love, everybody. Peace, peace, peace. See you later. Take care. Bye.